वेलकम टू सेंटर फॉर ऑनलाइन एजुकेशन उत्तर प्रदेश एशन एंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी हैव गॉट एन एमिनेंट पर्सनैलिटी फ्रॉम द फील्ड ऑफ हायर एजुकेशन वी हैव गॉट प्रोफेसर असीम कुमार मुखर्जी सर हैज गॉट अ वास्ट एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ फोर्टी फोर ईयर्स फॉर्मर डायरेक्टर मुनरबा एंड एक्स हेड एंड डीन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कॉमर्स यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ अलाहाबाद सर वी वेलकम यू इन द सीरीज ऑफ रिसर्च मैथडोलॉजी sir the learners have asked the first question that what is research and what do we find in research universe created by god by almighty not by us innumerable things are happening innumerable things exist in the universe what researchers are doing researchers are simply trying to find the facts existing in the universe or facts about the universe this is true as tagore said this is true that how much we could find out till date even not a small drop in the ocean but researchers that try they find out the facts for example newton saw an apple falling he saw a fact he saw a fact and then he tried to find out why did the apple fall why did not go upward why came downward he propounded a, he said that there is something which attracts which has attracted the apple so what he did he the, propounded the theory of gravity similarly researchers they with the creative eye see the facts in the universe they prove it they prove it and those facts are converted into various theories various concepts like theory of gravity the, this a fact somebody finds out the fact proves it experiments it then propounds a theory for our knowledge sake for research sake what we have done we have compartmentalized the facts like physical science to know about the uh, physical existence the goods which are things which are existing in the universe like land air sound fire light blah 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 then Uh, 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 life science, then botanical science that is talking about plants. Then we come to our science that is behavioral science, social science, where we know the facts about the human behaviors. Humans, how do they behave? How do they behave politically? How do they behave socially? How do they behave economically? like in business administration and and the commerce we study the economic behavior of humans so let like polit political scientists they study the political behavior of humans the this way this way we have compartmentalized the 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 research activity as well as the domain knowledge activities and we have very categorically defined domain of each knowledge now this is research so what happens a researcher first sees a fact then the researcher uh, 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 establishes the relationship between facts and, and 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 he experiments it just to find out whether the fact is correct what he has or she has said is correct or not then converts the facts into theory and those theories are taught in the classroom mind it those theories are taught in the classroom so you can establish a relationship between what is taught in the classroom and what a researcher finds out so that is the importance of this without good research there cannot be good theories for good theories we need good research for research we need for theories we need research Now the question is facts. It that's what he said. Facts predict theories, and theories predict facts.
fat. Fat means gravity, f apple falling, this is a fat that led to a theory, theory of gravity. Then another person came, he said, okay, there is gravity, this is a theory, but there must be some scope that beyond that, there will be no gravity. So another research activity. In this way, this is something like baton race, where one does something and says, this is one fact. Another one comes and, and the baton is handed over to the second person. He goes beyond that. Then the, he, the second one passes on to third. Third one passes on to fourth. This way, the, the, the researching becomes a continuous never-ending process. Now, how does it help in education? That is the three. That is the fact. How does it help? Res because without research, you do not find out theories. To find out theories, you need research. So in education, what we do, these facts, we convert into various theories, various concepts. Correct? And those concepts are give it a form of a text, text, and those texts are taught in the classroom. This is research and this is a relationship between education and research. Sir, many of the researchers have asked that after completion of their research work, they used to publish their work. So publication ethics is very important. The question arises over his desk that what is publication ethics? Integrity quality, transparency, accountability. These are the four things. First, there should be quality. Number two is integrity, quality with integrity. Third one is transparency. Transparency. Fourth one is accountability. That means a person who writes stands accountable for what did he write. If I write something, I am accountable to what I wrote. So, it, there should be quality. Of course, one very important thing that is there, that is particular that happens in pure science, practicability. That is, whenever a research is published, any person has a right, should enjoy a right to put it into use and find out whether whatever you have written is correct or not. Whatever you have, you, you, by, by research you have found out whether those things are right or wrong. Of course, of course, there should be, it, it should be in publication. Mind it. And the, and the publications are always for academic purposes, not for commercial purposes. Cannot be used for commercial, of course, can be used for further research. Can be used for further research. And you can have your patent by using a particular formula, doing some research, further research on it, and finding out a new thing that, that you can have patent. But as far as publication is concerned, publication has a copyright and copyright will always be with whom? With the right, script writer. So th there should be ethics uh, and ethics says that it, there should be quality, there should be integrity, there should be accountability, there should be transparency in the research publication. Sir, most of the learners have asked that why publication ethics is important in our research work. Okay. Uh, as I said, that most important thing is that a research is a continuous process. Not that, that what I have done is the last word. There's always a scope. There's never a last word in research. It passes on from one to two, second, second to third, third to fourth, fourth to fifth, fifth to sixth. So this is important as because whatever you write, that should be authentic one. Authentic one, and prove to be correct because, because the next researcher will be using your conclusion 
as base for further research. If there is anything wrong in the present research, if the findings are doubtful in the present research, the, all the further subsequent researches would become redundant. There should not be any redundancy in the present research work. It should be transparent. Again, transparency is very important. You should accept what you, that, that transparency means. You should be very clear what you have done and it should be known to every person. It should be known to every person what the person, the, what the researcher has done, how he has conducted the research. It should be transparent one. So that Another person, if he wants to prove the correctness of your research work, should, will, will be using the same process to find out whether your conclusions, your findings are correct or not. So, so this is the duty of the, it is the ultimate duty of the researcher, not of the others, to be clear in mind what he is writing, he means that, he means that, whatever he is writing. Sir, in the modern research, a term which is being highly discussed in the, among the researchers is plagiarism. Now, sir, please highlight and explore the various things regarding plagiarism. Really, plagiarism is a crime in research, it is a crime. This is true. That every researcher, every researcher uh, 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 looks into the previous work. Well, that is a very important integral part of the research review, literature review. That is what in literature review, what the researcher tr simply tries to find out to what extent research has taken place in the area where he or she is researching available literature, then tries to, after, then he, he, he or she finds out the conclusions and then acknowledges, minded, another thing is that whenever you use that, use a portion or entire one or a portion of research work, it should be duly acknowledged. If you give, without acknowledging that, if you give it in your name, this comes under plagiarism. This not only comes in, in, in research, this also goes good with books also. So you must acknowledge. Then after acknowledging, you find out the gap. What are the gap where research has not taken place as yet? And you select those areas, you identify those areas and you concentrate your research, you limit your research to those areas where research has not taken place as yet. <coughs> but if you repeat the research work, that may come under plagiarism. So plagiarism is, it, 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 is, it is a sin, it is a crime, it is a crime. So every researcher ensures that now, nowadays even in our country, the, we need to submit plagiarism report and that report is, it becomes an integral part of the research work. Some portion is of course uh, allowed because some few things you quote but not the one, the, so, so not the entire one. So plagiarism, plagiarism is using the other literature written by other without acknowledging the original writer. And that is bad, that is not possible. Sir, many of the learners have asked a specific question that what is scientific misconduct in research? Because this is most mostly talked about even the modern researchers. Writing something without transparency, without quality, that is misconduct. Misconduct. Even plagiarism comes under misconduct, mind it. It comes under misconduct. I know there have been few cases where 
entire thesis was rejected after being awarded PhD. So any misconduct is misconduct. And of course, every misconduct is done very scientifically. Not very scientifically misconducts are committed. So using any research work without acknowledging, without quality, without experimenting, without proving the correctness, this is misconduct. If this is known as mis scientific misconduct or misconduct as a matter of fact, misconduct. As a course coordinator of the first MOOCs of Uttar Pradesh Uttar Pradesh Open University, I thank sir that sir has enlightened us with the vast knowledge of research. I thank sir that coming from University of Allahabad and enlightening us. Sir has given all the answers in a very simple and elusive manner. Thank you sir. Thank you.